Clay, this is your May 29th, 2024 lesson. Um, th this looks good. L look at your, your stance. It The setup is really good. I, I just think that you've gravitated to something that looks very athletic. Um, you know, I, I you know like the setup. I think I think uh, the face on looks like you still have some more weight on the left left side. You know, if you bring that back a bit, but you have a tilt, so that's not a big deal. Okay, so uh, let's look at down the line first of all, um, and just watch this stroke. So take it back perfectly on plane. See how there, there's no and then, then you get you get to here, and then you get a little carried away, getting wrapped around here. And this, we get, we gotta just stop it right here. Anything after this is like your third, fourth, fifth glass of wine at dinner. Nothing good can happen from there, okay? Because you get stuck over here, and the natural reaction is coming down just too steep. I mean, you're coming down vertical. See how that is, you know. So at this point, the 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 shaft. You know, let me draw a red line here. So you're you're trying to so. It's coming down way, way too vertical. So what what ends up happening is that you're coming in here, and then you've got to go from the red line to a spot like this. You know, it, you know. So you got to go from from the red line to basically that that yellow line, if you know what I mean. So so in the middle of the swing, when you're trying to generate some power, and you, you, you can't get that exactly right each time. Okay, but so I got sidetracked. So, so on your way down, so you come in steep, you shallow it out, and you get to this position here, which is, if I can get it here. Yeah, okay, so with the takeaway being all in plane, and getting to this position, you can play, you can play golf. Okay. Now, the thing is, there's some extra commotion going on that's causing you inconsistency. So, if you want to get more consistent, we got to figure out how to how, how to uh, calm down the commotion a bit. But uh, you, you know, right now you you can go and play with that that shot. You know, because it's basically on plane, you, yeah, transition is steep, but then you get it on in, in the most critical point on plane right there where the club head is slightly behind your hands. That's, that's wonderful position. So, so, um, again, you know, the, 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 that's why, you know, on the range you're hitting, you know, you, you hit like three out of five drives as well as you could possibly hit them. So that was all good. Uh, and then, then you come through, and then you you release through here. This is good release. See how see how your club, your hands are arcing back inside, and your club head is chasing the ball. That's really good. Okay, so and and you're coming off the the back heel, you know, and then now you're just kind of stuck back and spinning. We'll get to that, and you exit a little high, but. You know, so you know it. It's a good swing. It's just going to be inconsistent because, and we'll point out some some reasons it's going to be inconsistent. But we, you got to celebrate <laughs> that all on plane, off plane, and then right there at the at the critical time, boom, you're on plane. That's exactly why you're hitting the ball better than you ever have. Okay, so now if you want for extra credit. Let's look at, at how we're going to, um, um, oh, first of all, let's look at face on. Okay, so that's the one on the left, obviously. So, so setup is good. You 
take this takeaway is really good. See how that right hip goes back, spins back. That's really good, and that that left uh, uh, lower leg kicks in. I, I, and and the shoulder gets behind the ball. Okay, the the shoulder tilt isn't quite uh, uh, steep enough, but it doesn't matter because you can get the shoulder behind the ball. That's that's a wonderful backswing from this this direction. Okay, I, that that's that's like a a, a, a eight handicap backswing position wise. Okay, so so that uh, it that's a good foundation to build on. Now now. Then as you come down, oops, I got this thing a little screwed up here. Okay, so excellent wind up. Wow, pretty impressive. Okay, so now see how you, that that left hip never gets quite to that that red cross is where your left hip started, and it impacts your belt buckle should be right there. So we're, we're, there's not really a weight shift now in the follow through. Then you get you get over here, but it's just it's just too late. So we don't have a little weight shift that we're talking about. Okay, so you're here and I watch. All you're doing is is you're just kind of spinning right there. So you're just you're just spinning, you, you know, and and the good guys. Their 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 knee will bump. Their knee will go banging into this knee will go cave in that direction at, at this spot. See that at this point that knee should be caved in, and and you know this knee should be uh, against that that yellow yellow line or bumped out and then, then rotate through. So anyway, so that that's what we worked on with the with the with the weight shift and and that's going to help everything uh, as far as uh, you know better consistency actually and better club head speed because you really don't have a weight shift you're just kind of spinning around uh, on that around that uh, left hip. Okay, so to clean this thing up, let's look at the right side again. Okay, so we we worked on the on on the the, the butt board quite a bit, and uh, you, you got that down pat. And so so the idea is, see, I, I just think you have more too much flex in your knees at this point. It just seems like your your butt is is because the first thing you do is you come right out of it. See, so you see that? So, so it's almost like it's almost like you're establishing. That red line as the new butt board. See it right there. Now, if that's the new butt board, then you're kind of. Then you're kind of in place, so. I, I I say work on on just uh, you know just uh, uh, taking a little for a driver a little flex out of the the uh, uh, the the the, uh, the back knee and you can see your your weight is kind of on the uh, uh, on the back heels on the heels right uh, uh, see you got you know so get it more on the the balls of your feet. And that'll get your butt closer to that uh, new uh, new uh, butt board. Okay, so so now when you come down from here, you know we got that you know that that, that, that shoulder just kind of pulls out. See that immediately. So what we want is that kind of uh, you know that drill where you just kind of dig that left shoulder in as you do the weight shift, and you know use that little um, rocker board. 